Hey, what's up friends? Welcome to my art blog and happy holidays. I'm Tracy L. Turner and today I'm just gonna give you another recap. You know how it goes here. So um, let's get into it. Okay, so this video shouldn't be too long, I don't think. I haven't been up to too much. It's been mostly a lot of reading and studying and preparing, I guess. A lot of planning for the coming year. And uh, I also wanted to point out my Santa hat. So all of the videos that I will be doing this month of December, I'll be wearing a hat, a Santa hat. Just trying to be a little bit festive, switching it up for you. I also have this new wig that I'm a little unsure about. <laughs> I think it's the color. I don't know, but here we are. And uh, I'm just gonna go through what I've been looking into the last couple of weeks. So now that the year is in, basically the, the final stretch we're in the last leg of this 2018 shit um it's been a lot it's been a, a mode or a, a time of reflection as i'm sure it is for a lot of people certainly for me in my art life this is a time when i do wind down a bit and start really thinking about what i might want to do so, um, well, for the next year. What I have turned my attention to recently is this book, How to See Color and Paint It. It is a color theory book, very, very technical. And it, act it actually kind of reads like a college course, to be honest, like a self-directed college course. It has a series of projects in it. That is all about color, just just the way um, we observe it and how to accurately translate that with color using a very, well, I was going to say a very limited palette, but it's not really that limited. It's just compared to my typical palette, it's very limited and uh, I just spent uh, the last... I don't know, maybe hour or so doing the very first project. It's, it's just a color wheel, really, really simple task, very basic thing. If you have done anything related to art, you know what this is about and uh, why that's important. And so this was just kind of the preparatory is that a word preparatory <laughs> the pre uh project to the serious series of projects that are in this book i'm really excited about it i saw an artist on instagram go through all of the projects and posting them as he went and i was really inspired to do the same thing mainly because as i said this is the end of the year and i and I'm trying to figure out the next steps. I'm trying to stay busy in a sense, but also be learning. And so jumping on a, a task like this really kind of um, makes a lot of sense for me right now, especially since I'm slowly exiting the slump that I was in. I was really excited about this book because it's, I don't have to think about it. I can just paint and it doesn't have to mean anything. I, but at the same time, I'll be learning something. I'll be sharpening my skills. I will have some shit to post and talk about. And um, yeah, this is just kind of right up my alley, doing art stuff and writing about it and talking about it and encouraging people and sharing what I've learned, all that type of shit. So um, that is kind of the way I want to end the year. And then I really am 
just gonna have to kick myself in the butt and start getting back to more soulful stuff. I think it's time, I have the ideas. It's just the motivation was lacking. So uh, I'm also, I'm not really sure yet how I want to present this work to the world. Do I wanna do a show or do I wanna stay strict? Or do I want to be strictly online with my efforts? Is the combination of both. I'm kind of trying to figure out that balance for me right now uh, because yeah, a part of what it, it initiated this slump is was just not really knowing where to go, <laughs> which route was best, where do I fit in in the landscape of the art world. So. I think it's time to just exit that, that chrysalis and get back into the fray and do some meaningful things and and just, um, yeah, share, uh, share a message <laughs> of some sort. Well, if you haven't seen this book, you're really into color theory or want a refresher or just, um, need some sort of guidance with mixing color and translating what you're seeing to your surface, I would definitely say pick this book up. That's, this book is supposed to help with that. It is very, uh, it's dense in that there's a lot of information in there. You will be reading quite a bit and setting a lot of stuff up. So if you're not really self-motivated, it's probably not a good route or maybe it could be something to make you be a little more self-motivated but but yeah if you if that doesn't bother you and if you can learn without a classroom or a teacher then definitely pick this book up i will show you uh <laughs> this right here hopefully you can kind of see it it will have you making and staging your own still lives and you have to build this contraption here. And um, yeah, so this is set up for the first project once I kind of clean up from this color wheel. But uh, yeah, what I probably will do is as I go through these projects, I'll do a video to show what I did and talk about what the lessons were and my reaction to it and all that. I think that can maybe be interesting and to give you guys something else to see from me rather than just these monthly vlogs. So that's another thing that I hope to tighten up for the coming year. But yeah, that is about it. To be honest, that's kind of the most recent shit that I've been doing. And be sure to come back because I'll be posting uh, these projects as I go, as I mentioned. So yeah, that's that's it for it's kind of a short one today if you want to see more from me definitely follow your nails and find me on instagram i am at tracy l turner that is probably the easiest place to see all of my world well, most of my work and the more recent stuff and all the fun stuff whatever it's it's just a really fun platform for me to share what i do so if you're not following me be sure to go there and hit the follow button and join in the conversation also uh my website tracylturner.com be sure to go check that out there's another gallery of my work organized for you by series and exhibition and just one-off pieces that i may have done for myself or commissions um, I also have a blog on there that I invite you to check out and read. I tend to post on there about once a month or so, and um, or just as I do certain pieces that I think are worth talking about. It's really important to me, and I do enjoy writing about art and my work, so definitely go check that out find something hopefully you'll find something that interests you on there or um you'll have a better understanding of the work that i do and yeah if you aren't subscribed 
do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and be sure to come back and check out everything that I'm going to be doing for the rest of this month to finish out strong. And if you like this video, give it a like and or share it with an artist that you care about. All right. That's it for me today. I will see you again soon in my Santa hat and have a great week. Bye.